In the United States, uh, under this umbrella of embryonic you know, stem cell transplantation, enormous of, of sums of money are being poured into research. See? Now, logically, if you have stuff from Germany and from Soviet Union going back eight years, all the scientific basis of this therapeutic method have been established, you know. And the Germans even did a wonderful work. They pulled out 1,000 of these different articles of which they shrunk it even to 500, and they, it's a, it's, the list is uh, made in a, in a special publication. They say, read all of this. When you read all of that, you know everything about cell and therapy. Why to you know, start from the scratch again? Now, but in the United States, millions are spent on research of this kind. This is all coming from the United States. And in the United States, you know, this has become also a Wall Street game. You know, in the uh, year 2004, when I'm always, you know, uh, my, uh, you know, daughter, you know, and her husband decided to go back to the United States. Uh, she's the only real U.S. citizen because she was born here. <laughs> and um, and um, uh, I suddenly was told by people, listen, there are about six companies that are traded in uh, NASDAQ, you know, that are actually claiming that they are working in the field of uh, stem cell transplantation. So I looked into, you know, he, they sent me the stuff, I looked at it. Each capitalized 100, 200, 300 million dollars. And the only, only interesting point was none of those companies could make one single claim of the kind we treated one patient with stem cell transplantation. So we actually, you know, have some use for the money. None of these companies treated a single patient as of year 2006. I, no more, I didn't look any, any, any further, you see. So, uh, why, you know, I would always say, if I would have had $10 million in Russia, you know, Soviet Union, when I was there, we would have turned the world upside down for that money. You know, when you, when you already, you know, know what, what you are supposed to do, and what, in which direction to go, and so on and so forth. That is, this, this is a very odd situation which has existed about this stem cell transplantation business, you know, particularly in the United States, okay. And, uh, I'm not going to go into the details of the, uh, of the difference you know, between the uh, adult and fetal stem cell transplantation. Anyway, but uh, adult autologous stem cell transplantation is absolutely not a source of any universal stem cells. And you will find this, you will find this you know, uh, statement in many of these articles. Uh, in uh, 2009, I was invited to a private dinner in Orange County, California, where the uh, hosts invited a, uh, a very famous man. Uh, this gentleman was a PhD pharmacologist from India who worked in Europe, and uh, he actually uh, developed a method how to um, put into the pills, how, how to slow down the metabolism of the pill for so-called prolonged release of the drug. Now he sold this patent for billions to pharma industry. You know, so from one day to the next, this young, relatively young man, very talented, you know, uh, became very wealthy. Okay, and uh, very intelligent. And uh, so I then, then I learned that this man was convinced that he should invest money into a uh, adult autologous stem cell transplant clinic in Germany, of all the places. Okay, and as we were talking, you know, one on one, you know, I uh, he he told me that he himself had the treatment, and I asked him, you know, would you be so kind because uh, I hear so many different things. Have you had? What was the effect of the treatment in your case? And what happened after the first treatment? He said, I did not notice anything. Uh, all right, and, and but he, but he, I had a second treatment, and uh, what did you notice after second treatment? Nothing. And then, you know, then he said, that, oh, but I have also third treatment. Oh, and, uh, you know, and uh, he said that I noticed a little bit. And so I asked him, look, but why did you continue to have treatments? This doesn't make any sense. Oh, because the medical director of the clinic that he owns told him that he has to have treatment five times in order to notice something. 
At that point, more or less, you know, I kind of disappeared because I did not want to, you know, cause any any social social argument. Uh, you see, this is this is the reality. This actually happened. You know, I heard it with my own ears. Okay, and this man is brilliant. You know, scientist and PhD <laughs> pharma, in, uh, PhD pharmacology. I mean, very close to medicine, very clearly, and he he himself was duped. Okay? So what do you expect from a, you know, uh, poor souls that don't have this kind of background? So, you know, uh, when we speak about the uh, incurable or untreatable diseases, uh, to tell the patient that, listen, you know, this is going to do the job, uh, that definitely, you know, is, is a major fraud. You know, that truly, you know, would require, I would say, even, even, even a criminal investigation, in my personal opinion, okay. Uh, now, the last item, uh, the biggest fraud of today is the uh, claim that the uh, fatty tissue in patient's body contains, you know, uh, stem cells. And this whole hoax with the uh, obtaining of his li during liposuction and then putting them into this special machine, which uh, there are two of them in existence today, as I, as I learned recently. One is $150,000, one is $100,000. The more expensive is something coming from South Korea. Uh, I have to say that it was in year 2000, uh, in 2007, 2008, one of the locations I gave my all day long seminars was Taipei, Taiwan. Okay, and this was particularly one of them which I did at uh, medical school in of, of of Taipei, and it was the all day long seminars had to have also lunch break. So I was asked if during the lunch break, one of the people from audience, a Korean plastic surgeon, could speak briefly about what he does, and that's the first time I heard about the using of the fatty tissue obtained via liposuction, you know, by the, for this procedure. Now, I uh, am not an impolite man, but I actually walked out, you know, from the room, so I did not have to listen to the, you know, the rest of it. And, but I, what I could not imagine is that in, you know, in, uh, shall we say, five years, this exploded. It's like, a, it's like a worldwide epidemic. Even in the countries where they know nothing about you know, stem cell transplantation, the, everybody knows that you can make money by doing the liposuction and, you know, and uh, implanting the cells. You know. In two and a half hours, you can actually suck all of the stem cells you know, from, from the fatty tissue that you, you know, suction out and, you know, and do, do uh, miracles to the patient, you see. Now, can you imagine? I mean, people, uh, many people are, you know, greedy and trying to make money in, a, in a, a, every possible way. But, you know, this, uh, this is, really, really, you know, when, when we talk about physicians, this is on the verge of uh, complete stupidity, you see. I, I don't know where these people are, you know, uh, uh, what the people are think, thinking about, you know. Anyway, so I said the South Korean fraud now is spread throughout the world, okay. You know. Side, you know, uh, I've been uh, up until now uh, kind of critical of, uh, you know, of uh, the way the scientific research has been going on in this country. Also rather critical about the media and, and you know, and the, the role in this because they truly have caused much more confusion. You see, it is much more difficult nowadays to consult uh, the patient who is interested in stem cell transplantation before because they read, you know, a newspaper, they watch television and their brain is filled up with these, you know, crazy ideas. And it is very uh, difficult to explain to them, you know, what it is, you know, uh, all about. Uh, uh, not, not so long ago, I actually stopped the consultation of, of one particular mother, you know, uh, of, about her child because I said, listen, you know everything, I have nothing to tell you, but, you know, uh, I am not going to waste my time anymore to try to, you know, to uh, retrain your brain. Just, you know, try to do it first to yourself and then when you are ready, come back, you know. And, um, but on the other side, the fact that the public has become aware, you know, that there is such a thing as stem cell transplantation, that is also positive. Because the uh, history of cell and therapy was such that in reality, this is very unique therapy, which was not started by physicians or a medical institution or medical, medical research and so on and so forth. This was something which people that were sent home to die by, you know, by esteemed professors, you know, more than one, telling them, please, we have done everything for you that we could. Put your things in order because we cannot help you anymore. So then these people, you know, in, uh, were in desperation were looking for some, some uh, new thing. And, you know, soon, sooner or later they found out that this one particular, you know, genius doctor in, in, in Switzerland is doing it. So he, and he very quickly attracted attention to people. So he was basically flooded 
by, by people who actually were going to die because they had no disease. You have to realize in 1931, uh, one of the key problems was, you know, for example, there were no hormones for treatment made yet by pharma industry. Any, any endocrine disease was a deadly disease. You know, if the patient that, you know, develops diabetes, type 1, you know, the juvenile diabetes, without insulin, it's a death sentence. Who can say